What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'll show you how to fix, hopefully how to fix, a hair dryer. This is my wife's hair dryer. It keeps on cutting in and out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's go ahead and plug it in and find out what's going on with it. So, right now it is not working. Oh, it is. What the heck? It's weird. Every time I turn it, it turns on. Alright, let's try to fix that. So, of course, if it doesn't work at all, you can always hit the reset button on the plug. That usually fixes any kind of overheating issues or any kind of issue with the hair dryer where it just fails immediately you can usually press this reset button it works or the reset button on your ac outlet on your on the wall and if you have an ac outlet that has a reset it's a gfi i think the issue with this one is maybe the cord is bad there's a bad connection uh, of course if there's lint right here i'm going to vacuum that out Alright, so you want to also vacuum that out. That looks bad. This is a duster. And this is just electronic cleaner. So I'm using electronic cleaner right here to break up all the dust and debris locked up between the fan and the motor. If your hair dryer is really loud and noisy, then that could be the issue. And I'm putting everything back together. Now I'm unscrewing the power cord right here because I think that's where the bad connection is. So this actually had two problems. The hair dryer had two issues where it wasn't running smoothly and it was turning on and off. So right here I cut off four inches of the power cord and resoldering the connection to the power switch. And this is my 60 watt soldering iron. And I'm just trying to get a good solder connection going on right here. Now, using flux really helps bond the solder and the wire to the switch. So if you have a hard time, you know, soldering on the wire to the switch, try flux. Flux really does help. It's a chemical agent that really cleans the surface and just helps bond the solder or the connection and I'm using hot glue so it just secures the connection more and I went ahead and put a knot on the wire so in case someone does tug on the wire it's not going to damage the solder connection or solder connection for your English majors 
Now it's important to tighten up this piece where it locks into the power cord so in case someone tugs on the power cord it's not going to damage the solder connections or solder connections. Now right here you just want to snap that back on just use some force and put the screws back in and test it out and see if it works. Yeah, it's running smoother and it's not turning off, which is a good thing. So I think we got a winner. Now right here is the power cable. I took a big chunk off and resoldered it to the switch and as you can see it is frayed a little bit right, right where that lock bar is where I was screwing down on the power cable and I stripped off the other side and it looks like it fell right apart so it was only connected with a couple of wires like thin wires so guys if you found this informative give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos